For 40 years I've been involved in nutrition. And nutrition is a dynamic science. It's growing every day. There are new items of information, new clinical studies that are teaching us a whole lot of new things. One of the things that I've been impressed with lately is the vitamin D research. We didn't think that vitamin D had very much benefit in the body, but we are discovering today that it has huge benefit. But the most important single element that I have discovered in these 40 years is the discovery of the food matrix technology. What does that mean? It means that we don't use chemical isolates as nutrients, but we use whole complete food. That's what it means. So what's the difference? Well, you can have vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid, and that means that it comes from an orange or an apple or a guava. But in nature, ascorbic acid as a powder, as a white crystalline powder, never occurs in nature like that. It always is related to its food matrix, its food content. And so, in food matrix, what we do is we make sure that when we're giving you a nutrient, we are giving it to you in its fullness. So that means that all the elements of food, and there are many elements, proteins, amino acids, carbohydrates, lipids, bioflavonoids, enzymes, glycoproteins, all of those are critical elements in food. Our body knows how to recognize them, and our body processes them well. And so instead of giving you a simple single chemical that the body finds very difficult to process and has to use a whole lot of enzymes to make sure that it is being utilized in the body, we are giving you a concentrated food. And that concentrated food has all the elements of a complete food, but it has a high concentration of the nutrient that we're trying to use. So that may be vitamin D. It may be vitamin C. It may be the B complex group of vitamins. It may be some of the minerals like selenium or zinc. So the first major principle of food matrix is that it is a concentrated food attached to all the elements of food. The second principle, and this is such an important principle, is that if you want correct and efficient transportation in the body, you have to have carrier peptides or carrier proteins. These are amino acids in a specific sequence that have been combined as a peptide. They are attached to the nutrient and they help in destination. And so calcium is the easiest example. When you take calcium, you want it to go to the bone. You don't want it to go to your artery and clog up your artery. You want to have that calcium properly delivered in the body to its destination site. And so with every vitamin, with every mineral, there is a combination of special amino acid proteins that assist in the delivery of that nutrient to the body. So if you want to have selenium properly utilized in the body, you only need to give a small amount of food matrix because it is so highly um, efficient in terms of the body. The absorption is efficient, the bioavailability is efficient, the utility in the body is efficient, and the retention is efficient. It's very important. If you're going to take a chemical vitamin B, its lifespan in the body is very limited. It may only last for 10 minutes. Whereas when you take a food matrix vitamin B, it lasts for a long time and does its function in the body. So we are so privileged in our company to have a technology that's so far ahead of its time that we can take in nutrients. They will be delivered to the correct destination and we will feel the benefits because it's going to make a major difference to the way we feel, to the way we function.